Good morning, my name is Captain Bob Grogan and I'm with the City of Waterville, Ohio. And I'm here today to proudly introduce to everybody our new 100 foot Pierce Velocity. It is a 2021 and it is replacing a 2003 Dash 100 foot aerial that uh, we decided to re not repair and we decided to replace with a new unit. Uh, the current unit that we have was going to be uh, cost prohibitive to actually repair and we needed something right away so we chose to go with a demo unit with Pierce. Uh, we were pretty proud that Pierce was able to provide us with a unit that we could get relatively quick uh, within 45 days of our actual uh, loss of our other aerial and we were able to step into a demo that almost reflected what we have currently and as far as training goes this was our best option to go with the demo at the time. We do have an extended front bumper, it's a 19 inch front bumper. We do have a 100 foot hose capacity in the front bumper for an inch and a half trash line. We do have the Federal Q which is now kind of standard for us on Waterville. And also, if you notice at the front end of this now, we've had the light package and also that we opted to go with the grill insert with truck 77 to complement the front end of the truck. This is a six man cab. The six man cab currently that we have, it complements what we have currently in Waterville. The, uh, this does have the command zone and this does also have an automatic transmission and everything that we have on here complements the command zone and also diagnostics for us for being able to take good care of it for the next uh, hopefully 20 years. On the rear end we do have two rear facing, two forward facing seats. Uh, this also has the quick action new uh, SCBA seating in here. Uh, the PS6s are something that is coming out standard for us now, which is easeability for our firefighters to get in and out. The cab also does have the jersey doors. We're getting away from the full length doors because of the highway system we have. If we have to have a tight uh, ability to get out of the truck, we can actually go over the top of the jersey barriers on our highways. This is a 2,000 gallon per minute pump. And we also have the plumbing capabilities for the Husky system. We do have a 20 gallon uh, foam tank that's up on top also with a 300 gallon water supply that gives us the capabilities of adding foam at a later date. It did not come equipped with it currently and we're working with Pierce to get that taken care of later on down the road. This is going to be our engineer's cabinet. We did have it taken care of to put the uh, uh, pegboard capabilities, the, everything that we're going to do for us is uh, easeability of having the pegboard was to be able to attach all current items that we have currently on our existing truck to transfer seamlessly over to this one. We do have, they added the uh, quick release for us to be able to drop our, this is something that we had to fight with on the other one. So this was a great addition that we had to be able to utilize this top shelf. We do have all the scene lighting, it's all LED scene lighting. We do have the monster scene light up on the cab. And then also if we have all the intricate scene lighting underneath the truck, which is all LED. So this has the all LED lighting package on it currently. This will end up probably being our EMS cabinet to be able to utilize uh, our first out to be able to have some basic first aid on board. We do have our Waterville. This is our patch for our uniforms. They were able to cut this and do this uh, on the back of our rigs. We do have a new engine coming in January. It will we'll utilize this patch also. Uh, it was something that the graphics department here was able to do for us and it, I think it turned out really well. We do have the full complement of NFPA required uh, ladders, pike poles, and this is a full ladder complement that we have on the back. We also have capabilities of holding a thousand feet of five inch LDH. We usually uh, carry a thousand foot and we do use five inch, so this is going to be a good uh, use for us uh, to be able to store our five inch.
This is going to be our uh, basically our pro positive pressure fan. Uh, this is also all of our compartments all have LED interior lighting. They're the strip lighting on both sides. We opted to have the LED lighting versus the old uh, style lights that were usually up at the top. And with the new roll-up doors, which is new for us, we couldn't have the top-mounted lights. But the ability to use the LEDs on the side gives us full compartment lighting. This is going to be our saw cabinet. This is going to be where we have our uh, two vent saws that we're going to be using on this truck. And it gives us a lot of capabilities to be able to store both uh, fuel on one side and then the saw is separate on this side. We've gained a little bit more compartmentization on this truck. We were able, this cabinet here comes with the shelf and the LED lighting also. It's given us a little bit more flexibility. Our uh, old truck did not have the shelving unit in it. So this is gonna give us just a little bit more flexibility as far as uh, being able to store everything that we need to do on this truck. We do have a compartment up here, which is new for us. There is an identical cabinet on the other side that does have the generator uh, circuit breakers and also has the uh, air pump in it. This is the empty side, and we'll probably use this to store uh, uh, water for refreshment for the uh, firefighters on the truck. We also have on all the outriggers, the outriggers are equipped with the camera system so that we can have the driver pull up and be able to utilize the camera system for outrigger placement which is something new for us, which I think is a great asset for the driver to be able to position the truck in a proper position without having to get out of the vehicle. We do have a hydraulic generator on board with 200 foot of reeled cord. Uh, this is something that we had on the other truck, which we thought was important to us. And then we also carry uh, two cross lays for inch and three quarter. And we also have one two and a half inch cross lay holding 200 feet of cross lay hose. Again, up on top, if you want to look up on top, we do have a utility box. This is where we're going to hold our Stokes basket. Uh, the city of Waterville does do some high angle rescue for the Maumee River, which is on cliff sides. And having the Stokes basket available on the side is new for us, and it's going to be an asset for us to be able to not have to leave the ground with an, and adding it to the top of the truck. It's already there for us. We also have pike pole attachments up on the uh, upper fly. And then on the other side, uh, we do have a 14-foot double-end uh, roof ladder. We did choose the TAC-4. We've been very impressed with the TAC-4 front-end suspension. Uh, it's given us some flexibility on ride comfort, and it's also given us the ability for steering in some of the cul-de-sacs that we have. And the new engine that we're also ordering in, uh, that's already ordered in pre-engineering has the TAC-4 front-end suspension. Our city, currently, we service uh, a lot of nursing homes. We also service some uh, industrial buildings that the 100-foot bucket complements the uh, mul multiple agencies that we uh, work with. The 100-foot bucket is going to complement the sticks that are in our current service area. On the front end of the bucket, this is a single turret, 2,000 gallons per minute. And this is the uh, all electronic that's capable of being operated from the operator in the turret or the operator that's on the uh, uh, turret itself. And we also have the two connections for us to be able to take off and do any type of firefighting with hose off of the top of the bucket. Fortunately for us, uh, Pierce did build this truck and it was available. And at the time that we were in need, Pierce stepped forward and was able to get us into this in a very short period of time. So I'd like to thank everybody at Pierce from the sales department right on through to the build that they built a phenomenal vehicle. And we're very proud and we're an all Pierce department and we've been Pierce for many, many years and we hope to continue our Pierce relationship in the future. I see that this is going to be a very good asset for our department for the next 20 years. And we are very excited to get it home and hopefully by Sometime about the 1st of September, it'll be home and being able to get put into service. So I'd like to thank everybody at Pierce and Atlantic Emergency Solutions for accommodating Waterville's needs uh, for our upcoming equipment. And I thank everybody.